All right, VTE2. This is a car I've been working on for a few months. It's, nobody's really ever seen it. So uh, I'm doing a range test. I, did, I got a new radio and I put a range booster on it. So I wanna, I tested it last week and it, it went far, but I, I went back and forth a couple times. So I wasn't sure of the exact distance I went. So I'm gonna try it again. And I uh, may possibly also do a, a light 3S hit with it, depending on how it goes. So yeah, I picked up a 4 p.m. Put a range booster on it. Ooh, scared me. Yeah, this car here is, uh, I got it set up. I put some, uh, I modded it up pretty good. I ran it out here last week and it went nice and straight for the most part. Not going for any speed. I'm just cruising up the road far as I can take it. And then I'm gonna cruise it back down the other way far as I can take it. Without hopefully no traffic showing up throughout this. Yeah, this car's a lot bigger, so I could see it a lot better. And I also got a great big light on the front of it. I need to actually put one on the rear too. So I got it all the way up there at the corner about where I start from. Turning it around. I'm gonna bring it on down through here. Slowly. Yeah, it's a long ways up there, man. Car's running good and straight though. I'm ready to uh, give it a light hit today. She's uh, she's coming, <laughs> not too quickly, but yeah, she is. I just need to make some slight steering adjustments to get it a little better than what it is now. But uh, it's currently down there farther than I normally think I ever take them. I mean, it looks like a dot down there. Hopefully I can turn it around without running it off the road. All right, got it turned around. Man, that car's a long ways down there. That has gotta be close to 6,000 feet. I mean, I don't think I ever and I'm on the ground too. Normally I'm way up in the air, standing on top of a vehicle. Yeah, I got a pretty bad to the bone setup in this car. This car's a uh, pretty badass to the bone car here. Well, I'm guessing a top speed of about 45 or 50 mile an hour and about 6,000 feet. Stop, read. Well, it was only 5,079 feet. I went way further than that, 50 mile an hour. All right, we're gonna give her a, a light hit here. Track, start. Name that motor. Y'all hear that? Listen. But you can't guess it until I show it to you. So yeah, I got two 3S packs in here parallel. It's geared for about 110 or 115 mile an hour on 3S parallel. All right. Here we go. First hit with the old VTE2 2.0. Fresh build.
Man, she's railing nice and straight. Hell yeah, that was awesome. Really happy with that first hit with this car. I'm gonna bring her back through. I think a wire came loose or something here. Well, we got some beeps going off. I gave her uh, a little heavy throttle there on the way back across 130 mile an hour i'll take it for a very first hit back and forth a couple times she was uh tracking nice and straight running nice and straight i've been excited to get this car on the ground the weather's been so shitty that this is really the first time i've really headed out with decent weather All right. Oh, I desoldered a motor lead. That's that's what the problem was. Oh, here comes a car. Uh, yeah, desoldered a motor lead. Put some 90s on there. But yeah, it's a it's a big can, 5660 in this car on 3S. I got some crazy. I couldn't find my parallel connectors, so I just whipped these up real quick try to get out here and run this thing but uh it's red red to red black to black you can see uh these are some onyx 3s packs uh four wires four wires yeah this is a badass car i like it i like this new uh the v2 or the 2.0 all the new uh changes they've made with it uh badass man i can't wait to really uh start pushing it and uh see what she can do man she's first hit i'm really happy with that we're gonna uh we're gonna keep pushing her y'all have a good one